hello everyone we have a new video for the ansible and in this video we will quickly discuss about the parallelism in ansible so this is a mechanism in ansible by which you can control the uh, parallel processing of this uh, job or the execution so in ansible um, technically you know ansible can uh, in logic ansible can work on all the nodes uh, in the host list. Let's say you have 100 nodes or 1000 nodes in the host list. So Ansible uh, can execute the task on all the nodes. But uh, you remember if you check the Ansible theory, you will know that each time when you connect to a host, there will be an SSH connection. That means it will take some memory. So it, it all depends on your Ansible engine or Ansible control node uh, resource or the memory also. So uh, this is controlled uh, by using the fork. Uh, so, the maximum number of simultaneous connections that Ansible makes is controlled by the fox parameter in the Ansible configuration. So, you can use that fox inside Ansible configuration or inside the playbook or while running the Ansible job. So, uh, in this example, what we will do, we will uh, execute uh, a playbook and see how this will work. Inside the site.yml, uh, we have a few tasks already explained. Uh, so by default, if you execute this, uh, so what will happen? Ansible, Ansible playbook, site.yml. So if you not, uh, both nodes are executing together. So let's say you have uh, uh, some 100 nodes, all 100 nodes, it will try to execute together, right? But uh, if you check in the, in the configuration, Ansible uh, fork is set to 5 by default. So what we are going to do when you execute the playbook, we will tell them, okay, the fork should be uh, something, let's say I put one because we have only two nodes. We want to see how much it will take. Okay, so uh, we can configure the fork something like uh, vim ansible.cfg. Then here you can put something like forks equal to 5 or 10. So it all depends on your ansible control node. Uh, in our case, we have only two, so it won't be uh, a big deal. But if you have more nodes, make sure you control these forks and you can control this uh, parallelism. So by default it's a five and if you put 10 or something like that, it will be like uh, the number of SSH session is controlled by this value. Okay. Another way is to something like Ansible playbook, then site.yml, then minus forks, you can put five, something like this. So in our case, it won't be a big difference because it's only two nodes. Okay. Uh, so just uh, read about read the documentation for more details if you are uh, trying this in production so this fox uh, fork is a, a good uh, parameter by which you can control this uh, parallelism okay uh, then the next one is um, called a rolling update let's say you have um, five or ten web servers and uh, it's a kind of a load balancer on top of that and you want to patch or do some updates in the configuration so what will happen uh, when you do the website update or something maybe it's another cluster or something like that and you cannot do it all together instead you want to do only one or two at a time based based on the number of nodes in the cluster or on the backend so in our case uh, we are going to execute two together means uh, if there is a site running the site will be down right so we don't want to do that. So we want to do only one server at a time. Something like we call it a rolling update. Uh, update one, then take the next one, update the next one like that. So only like uh, uh, the site, uh, the entire site will not go down together. Okay. How you can control this is very simple. There is a parameter called a serial. So what you can do is vim site or yaml. Then here you put serial. I put one. Okay. That means at a time it should execute only one item, one host. Let's say if I have 10, it will execute one, then the next one like that. 
we will try this so ansible playbook .yaml. you check now this one is executing on node 1 right now all node 1 all tasks done already then it will go for the node 2 you see the difference so this is a serial value so you can give the serial like 1 2 or 100 or even you can use, use something like um, percentage something like um, I put like 50 percent okay so in our case two nodes and then 50 percent is of course one then it will execute only one first uh, if you have 10 50 percent means it will execute on five nodes together in the in inventory we in inventory what I do I have node one node two um, maybe I use node three node three node four but we don't have this node what i do vim so vim play it is post so i use node one node two node three maybe node four node three so i just uh, duplicate the names uh, here i use uh, okay so I, I i don't have the nodes uh, up and running now so i just uh, make the node one two and uh, just make to make as a duplicate now we will see because i put uh 50 percent means it will execute the half means i have four nodes yeah it will be an error of course uh, because <laughs> the node uh, is a we are using the same thing then the fingerprint won't be correct because the node one uh, same name with the node three anyway it's executed so you can see the 50 percent now okay so what we will do uh, we will try with one more uh, it's okay uh, ignore that one for now okay now i have four nodes so what i'm going to do is site.yml so i put 25 percent so if I have a uh, hundred servers, execute this on twenty-five percent of the servers first. Then the next one like that. Okay. See now, only one at a time. So the one finish, then it will execute on the next one, next uh, list, next host in the list like that. Okay. Hope you have uh, some idea on the serial thing now. Ignore the error because we are just duplicating the item here. Um, so I will put like um, okay. Mm, uh, that's it for uh, the serial uh, and the rolling update. And also remember about the fox. So you can just play around and see how it's useful. Uh, some of these cases I already mentioned. Let's say you have a database cluster and you want to execute some patching or something on one node at a time. Then the next node. Or you have a web server uh, running behind the load balancer. So what is the normal process? You remove it, remove the node from uh, one one web server from the load balancer, patch it, add it back, take the next one like that. So you don't need to do do a lot of calculation there. Instead, you can put everything in Ansible and tell, okay, I want to execute only one or two or some percentage of the nodes at a time. That's it. Uh, uh, that's all for the parallelism and the rolling update in Ansible. Uh, watch the YouTube playlist for uh, full Ansible series and uh, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, refer to this uh, GitHub repository for the reference playbooks and if you have any question, ask in the comment box. See you next time with another video. Thank you.